um, from our statistics um, so far, we've seen at least 27, 27 fatalities. So, 27 persons have have died on our roads um, so far this year. And it shouldn't escape you that um, that number is higher than persons who die, who die from violent crime, as uh, as I indicated um, earlier. And so, I think that we have to do something about it. And I've asked the statisticians to isolate the causes, main causes of, of these fatal accidents, and they said, without a doubt, that it's the use of cell phones, the distraction that is caused by the use of, of cell phones and, 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 and other distractions, and the issue of, of speeding as well, overtaking improperly, and as I said, the distractions that are caused um, by, by these other activities. Now, in classical traffic management, they, they always say that you concentrate on the three E's, enforcement, enforcement of the law, the traffic laws, um, education, educate drivers on the proper use of the road, and um, there are engineering issues as well to be addressed. Uh, because when you start to analyze traffic statistics, you may find that um, accidents are more prevalent at particular junctions or, or areas. And so the convergence of these two, three um, factors, ed enforcement, education, and engineering, um, would have to be emphasized in dealing with, with these issues. But given what, we've, what I've just said about speeding and overtaking and so on, perhaps there needs to be a greater emphasis on, on education uh, for those uh, persons who use our roads here in, in Barbados. This is not to say that the others, the enforcement of the law and engineering issues are, are not in, important. Um, but given what we've seen, um, I think that some emphasis has to be given on educating um, road users on the, the proper use of, of, of roads. We are very stringent in licensing of private and firearms. If you go around Barbados, uh, there's some of us, to use a, a Bayesian term, get cuss for, for our approach on firearms. Some people feel that we are too stringent and we need to be, to be more liberal. Um, but to have, to have an effective firearms management um, <coughs> strategy, I, I think in addition to addressing um, smuggling and so on, there has to be a very robust regime arrangement for, for dealing with those that are held by citizens as well. And um, over time, in accordance with the legislation and so on, and in keeping with our processes, uh, persons who apply for firearms are sent for a psychological evaluation. And so that is, that is an important aspect of the thing. You're not given, you're not given a, a license unless um, you can prove that you're emotionally competent uh, to carry that firearm. And it's, it's of even more relevance in, in, in our force. Um, each person has to go undergo the psychological assessment, and all of us have to qualify with that firearm each year from the commissioner down as to qualify with the firearm. Um, it is in the forest when you reach a certain rank. There are some privileges. You're, you're given, you're allowed to, to, to carry a firearm. Um, but um, if you don't qualify with that firearm, you're required to take it back to the stores. So every year, every police officer has to qualify with the use of, of, of the firearm. And so, Ian, we're doing our best to ensure that we don't have the type of outrage of which you spoke and the, the public angst um, about the, the use of firearms in Barbados. With the exception of robbery this year, we've seen firearms being used in fewer cases than last year. I think a table is provided there for you and it does show that in respect of those other crimes, assault, with intent to rob, aggravated burglary, endangering life, and so on, uh, there has been a, re a reduction 
and firearm um, enabled um, crime. I should say though that notwithstanding the containment of violent crime, we've had some, pro some problems with property crime here this year. And cell phones, jewelry, and cash are at the, the high valued items that attract um, our criminals. And as I said before, and my senior officers will support me in this, we've had significant discussions on what is fueling the, or what fueled the property crime um, this year, and we've come to the conclusion that it's the cash, or the exchange of gold for cash, I better say, um, that has caused us a lot of difficulties um, this year. It has been a significant problem. Um, we've extended significant, many man hours um, to address it. At this time of the year, we are seeing a reduction, but in its prevalence. Well, but nonetheless, I think it still remains a problem of, of major um, concern. 